Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Shut Door or Door Shutter coming back to you with episode 32 of Direwolf 20's 1.18 mod pack. And today, uh, we're working on a gas farm type of situation. This will be used as the Soul Shard Chamber. Um, later, we'll be modifying this to actually spawn guests and kill them with mob mashers. Uh, but for now, what we're actually doing is getting the mob duplicator set up so we can actually fill a soul shard of gas because i'm not going to go hunt over uh you know 500 gas or whatever to actually fill this up so we've got a few things here uh one of them is seeing do i have actually any levers highly doubt it mm, might have to go back home real quick here so we're setting this up so we can get some gas and then we will be getting gas tiers, gunpowder, uh, which I'm not really too concerned about the gunpowder, but the gas tiers are what I'm concerned about because we, I've been using these left and right. Um, there is ways to get them uh, with Cyclic, which is a new mod added in the newest update of the Direwolf 21.18 back. Um, so there's no other real way besides gas, and that's kind of what we're going to go for. Uh, let's see. Let's grab a lever here. Um, let's toss this stuff. Don't need that. Don't need that. Let's grab some receivers and some transmitters. Let's grab like four of them. I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'll need all of them, but better safe than sorry here. All right. And then we'll grab, got the levers. Let's actually clear out this inventory a little bit. Oop. Didn't mean to open my door. Uh, building gadget, spider. And that, that's fine. Alrighty. And let's also grab a matter transmitter. And I will be talking about the update just a little bit here in a bit. Um, don't want to throw it at the front of the episode just because, you know, kind of want to get into this. And then we'll need a flux point. Do we have a flux point? I think I only used the Tesseract, didn't I? No flux point. There we go. Get rid of that stuff, get rid of that, get rid of that. There we go. All right, let's hop, skip, and jump over to the nether again. And then we'll set up the matter transmitter as well so we can actually get over here quicker. Uh, I don't know why I haven't done that in the past. I could just completely negate the whole nether portal thing if I really wanted to, but this thing ain't too far away, so I'm not too worried. Let's see here. So one of my questions is, can this actually transmit a redstone signal? Okay. Is the fan spinning? It is. Okay. So if we actually keep this thing on, right? So if it's redstone signal is required and we say transmitter, uh, let's just say the transmitter F3G, we don't want this in the same chunk, is like right here. Okay. Uh, let's grab a crescent hammer. And this may not be the, the permanent place of it, but for now, we'll say lever at the bottom. And then redstone receiver. Let's just divide those up here. I will say uh, mob duplicator. And of course, the mob duplicator probably will be removed uh, or just completely turned off for quite a while just because it's not going to be permanent because we will be changing this up at the end of the day anyway so keep that in mind all right so now if we come over here and we turn this on did i not i really hate the creatures of the nether by the way they're in the way I am busy. Get out of here. All right, crescent hammer. Upgrade. We don't really have a good upgrade in here, which is fine. All right, if we flip this, it is not doing that. It is not transferring, which I mean is fine. 
how do we want to deal with this then? Alrighty, so after a little bit here, uh, we have this all set up. Um, we are actually missing receiver. I guess I've knocked it off, um, which is fine. So we'll just go grab one real quick here. Go back here is what I need to do. Uh, and we need a receiver. So let's open up our grid, grab a receiver, start. There we go. And then we'll pop back to the nether because I have set up that point. I just did it off camera because I've done it in the past. So if you don't know how to set up uh, this whole system, you just need a battery receiver and a source of energy. You just, you can throw a name in here. You don't actually need to name these. Uh, it'll just give them IDs. You take your charged quarter or advanced charge quarter. You shift, right click, and you can see that mine was already added. Um, but then I can open this and see that there is dimension ID eight. And that's that. Alrighty. So we have the other receiver. So let's connect that to that uh, transmitter. So it'll turn this fan on. And these fans are actually currently showing uh, their radius. So we're missing like this coverage, but I don't think that should matter uh, because gas are like five by five, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just turn these all off. The middle one is going to push them up and we should be good to see if this will run. We do need some sort of power and I don't actually have that. So let's actually, I'll skip and jump back home real quick. But I did forget that I put the flux point somewhere else. So let's grab another flux point. I probably should just turn these to auto craft, even if I don't have flux auto craftable, but that's okay. Nether, here we go. Alrighty. And uh, we will connect this to here. Actually, this is turned off. It is okay. So I have connected this to a receiver um, and transmitter up top. So I don't have to worry too much about turning it on and off by flying down here. Let's turn this on and we should be golden. Let's see, take out the flux. It's going to push and take out this flux. All right. So let's see how this works. Okay. Gas. The fans are turned off. Hold on. Turn them on. That might be too small. Oh, also, quickly before we forget, let's uh, claim this chunk so nothing just terribly happens here. Is it just not pushing up far enough? No, this this one's actually not turned on. Um, I think we can just smack a lever here and then right click it maybe. There we go. And then now, the gas should spawn, should be sent up. Okay, we, so we need to actually send it up more. So let's turn this off, right? And that's actually not turning it off because it is being powered. So let's do work without redstone. Um, hmm. Not 100% sure how I want to handle this then. We don't have like a mob puller. I wish there was like an inverted fan, you know? Um, but we don't have anything like that. Hmm. Man, I really hate magma cubes. I'm trying to work here and these guys are bugging me. Uh, let's put some more distance upgrades. Just the whole shebang. Right? And I... Uh, let's see. All right, let me kill off the gas. Let me get this to actually work. Because I guess we need a bigger area, which is fine. Uh, and I'll be right back. All righty, so I've made this a bit taller and I've made this a bit wider. Let's turn this on and see what happens here. All right, first gas. Anything? Um... Not 100% sure. Uh, oh. Okay. 
now we're getting gas. We should just be able to stand up here. Whack. Whack. And just farm gas. So we can actually just get a full soul shard. So let me get this going. And I'll be back in a second when I get one. Alrighty. So now we have a full uh, inventory. And also a full soul gem shard thingy. Uh, we actually can get this finalized right so this system actually is really good this whole funneling thing i probably could make this one solid box in all honesty but i think keeping it this way would be fine i mean no matter what we'll have a few that'll get stuck in this lower level which is okay i don't really mind that i might be able to solve that by just simply pushing these up because you can see that there is a gap Right, because since I made this room taller, uh, we could move this up and push them. You know, but I think we can just grab a few mob mashers. One, two, three, four, and then a fifth one here, and we'd be good. We just need to get, you know, um, some sort of vacuum. The vacuum later, the absorption hopper, whatever, and we'd be good. So, let me get a few more things here. The soul cage, the... Um, what you call it? Play space in here. The mob mashers, and I'll be back. Alrighty. So, quickly, I'm over at the base. I think I've got everything we need to set this up. I might need a few more of these upgrades. Um, granite hoppers. That's fine. I think this should be fine. I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. But I quickly wanted to talk about the base uh, for a second. Because you guys can see that I actually expanded this. I pushed the wall back. A little bit so we could fit some more machines in here because i'm loving placing all these machines kind of just willy-nilly throughout the actual base i don't know why but this is actually really just cool to me right now um but something i'm going to attempt to keep happening is actually turning these machines off with redstone when a resource is full instead of having you know a million for example um glass we're just gonna have you know the 15,000 or whatever I set it to, right? Uh, same thing with soul sand. I've actually made it to where this drawer, if it gets low enough, it will actually turn this whole system on with this clutch. The clutch is currently powered, so it's turned off, which prevents this whole system from actually running. Uh, it's just a really cool thing I've kind of been trying to implement with everything. Um, even the plastic sheets here, we are currently, you know, waiting for this to work. It looks like you can see it's breaking, but uh, whenever this gets full, you know, this will all turn on uh, and, or turn off and all of that jazz. Same thing with or actually this isn't this is just going to continuously run until all the stuff gets full, which is fine. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to quickly talk about that. And also the update. I know I mentioned earlier um, we have blood magic in the pack. I think this was actually from another update, which I didn't talk about. Um, but blood magic's in the pack. Um, we have some different types of runes in here, it looks like. Uh, we've got reinforced, which is a whole new thing, apparently. Um, I'm not 100% sure what this will actually entail. I've not seen this. I've not looked into it. Um, so a whole bunch of goodies there. Uh, we have the mod Cyclic currently in the pack, um, which is kind of just like a utility mod with a whole bunch of random stuff. Different books, different potion effects. Um, different apples, you know, different charms and rings and specter or scepters and yeah, it's a really interesting just packed full mod um, that has been updated and is now in here. Um, we also have supplementaries, which is another mod that's kind of just like that. It adds some building blocks, some signposts. Um, and some very just interesting stuff here's like gates even that's pretty cool for making an iron fence if you wanted to um statues a whole bunch of good stuff right and uh yeah so there's a few other mods there's a few other changes a few updates uh, i'm not 100 percent sure about everything of course um but yeah so just tons of good stuff happening some stuff getting updated some stuff being removed uh I know the Akashka Tome, which was added quite recently, is actually being removed and being replaced. Um, and I probably could find the mod 
it's in here somewhere but uh right here this eccentric foam uh which we will need to craft sooner or later to actually just store all our books it'd be easier but anyway that's enough of the update there's probably a few more things you guys can look up the change logs uh for yourselves if you really want to know all the updates and uh we'll head over to the nether here which actually i just need my charged quarter here hop skip and jump to the nether um but i have been doing stuff around the base um that's not really too visible i've kind of just been working on fixing things right like i've been updating you know some areas that are older such as the village trading hall i've been working on it especially because cyclic added a whole bunch of new enchants i've been looking into it i've been working on it I've also been working on armor which we'll get into in actually a little bit here uh, we need to turn off this fan so we can get in here and place these mob mashers so let's actually do that which is just that piece of glass so we're going to place a piece of glass here right so we want the mob masher or one of the mob mashers to basically be right here okay and of course we'll need to figure out how to power these as well which I don't think will be hard. I think redstone receivers will work just fine. Um, and then we'll want to place a mob masher here, a mob masher here, here, and here. I think these will be good positions. Um, we might be a bit difficult to get redstone in here, but honestly, I think we could just place like a redstone block um, or something. We actually have levers in here. Let's actually look at that real quick here. So if we come up here, if I place this here, are we able to? No. So I might need to do something like this. That's not even going to transfer it. Okay. So we could probably just put a redstone block or something here. And that should just power it. Because we never want these to turn off. I've kind of decided turning the mob mashers off is just pointless, honestly. Um, and it results in problems if we do turn them off. So let's throw some sharpness, some looting. I don't think we really need any other upgrades in these as well. All right, so we'll just throw all 10. And this will basically help for our gas uh, tiers and all of that stuff. The gunpowder, most of it will be voided because we get that from the witches, um, but that's fine. Uh, let's quickly hop, skip, and jump home. I cannot wait until we have uh, some sort of dimension thing for refined storage, because it's it's so much easier. I don't I wouldn't have to come back and forth, right? Um, so let's see here. So we want some like redstone blocks. Uh, I don't think we have like reinforced, which is fine. Hmm. Yeah. So there's like this is cyclic. There's a redstone clock in one block, another wireless redstone receiver, an entity detector. Oh. Okay, I'll talk about that in a bit. Anyway, I completely forgot that was the mod that added that. So we can actually do... What am I looking for? I completely spaced. Just redstone blocks, I think that'll work. We'll just grab four or five. Um, and we can just hop, skip, and jump back if we need to actually get anything else. But that, that, uh, entity detector is going to be quite useful. Um, at least I hope. I'm going to have to look into it just because I was going to look at an entity detector slash, slash reader from another mod, uh, which is Pneumatic Craft, uh, which is a mod that I do want to get into because it's not something I get into often. Um, so I do want to get into that. I just have not done that. So that'll be happening soon. Um, I know Direwolf20 has just started his. Uh, and I kind of try to pull away from when Direwolf20, you know, creates uh, an episode about a mod. Just because it isn't as interesting whenever you get to see two people playing the exact same mod. Um, I like to kind of space it. Um, which, that really won't affect it. I do want to get into the mod. I will get into the mod. Uh, but right now, I'm not really concerned about getting into the mod too much. Just because I have been trying to upgrade my actual character. Upgrade armor. Upgrade tools. Um, 
and kind of just get resources to the point where we're super comfortable to be able to get into every mod we want without needing to go gather a whole bunch of resources all at once. So, alrighty. So I think the next thing to do is to disable this permanently, right? So let's actually take away the power, take away the essence tank, and then take away the receiver, right? Because the soul cage is actually what we're gonna be turning on and off and that'll all work. And we actually probably could just take the whole duplicator. I think we'll do that. All right, slime, really annoying. Um, I have made a new sword, by the way, which is the Draco Arcania sword from Forbidden Arcanus and Arcanus, whatever, uh, which is actually more powerful than the diamond uh, sword that I originally had, the netherite diamond and sword so that is a thing. That's why I've actually made it. And uh, yeah, that's a good thing. All right, let's see. So I think I need one more receiver, but that'll be fine. Uh, so one receiver, right? That's a receiver. Receiver, and that'll be toggled here from the fans. And this will be the soul cage thing. So let's actually change this from mob dupe to soul cage and let's try and actually figure out how we're going to place this bad boy did I just throw my pickaxe in lava <sighs> well I have another pickaxe that I've been making oh no it's right here it's indestructible what Oh, it's probably because it's made of netherite. Okay. Well, I do have a secondary pickaxe that's on backup. Um, this one actually does not have fortune of any sort. Um, but it is indestructible. Like, it, it doesn't ever take damage. I was kind of just messing around with it. Got reinforced five on breaking... Uh, uh, whatever it's called. It just It's 100% reinforced. It can never take damage. Um, so that's just something. So if I ever do lose this pickaxe have this one i also have my silk touch which is the iron pickaxe which i have not upgraded a single time since uh i stopped using it anyway me almost just completely throwing a pretty decent pickaxe away that all right uh let's see here so we need to place the soul cage down so i think we'll go right about here they might spawn outside of this and i don't know if they will um, but we want to be prepared. Who cares if they do, really? Uh, I can take them. I hope. Maybe not all of them, but we'll see. So let's go soul cage, receiver. Let's go make sure this is in the on position, I believe, is what we want. Grab our soul shard here. Alright. Actually, probably want this to be... This is a mistake. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I have lever. I have lever, but I cannot see or hear anything. I think the soul cage actually just got destroyed by one of the gas. Which I actually did not know could happen. Um. Alright, take two. Right? <laughs> um, so what needs to happen now is I actually need to place this in a more reasonable area, which that is kind of reasonable here. We'll place that, we'll place this. I will place the soul cage. We'll place the shard. We'll get rid of this bottom section. Uh, actually, this fan will be completely obsolete. Hmm. Okay. So we'll place a fan here. We'll place a fan here. And we'll place a fan here. Oh, so four fans, basically. And we'll just completely remove this fan. That'll work. Right? So let me get that change. Throw those down, get the upgrades. 
and uh, we'll turn this bad boy on and see what happens here. Alrighty, so after a little bit here, I think I've got everything kind of thought through, completed. Uh, I don't have anything actually exporting, um, kind of just been testing it. So if we turn this off, all the fans should seize. There we go, turn it back on. I have added fans up here so we prevent the uh, gas from getting trapped in these corners. Uh, and if we turn this on, here you can see that that magnet thing is actually not functioning. I think it's because it's on the redstone. Um, but that's awesome. So see how this guy's trapped? I'm not 100% sure why he is trapped. Maybe he is being pushed. And I am picking stuff up left and right because I have missed putting this here, turning this to five. All right. Yeah, so I'm not sure why these guys aren't getting pushed. Uh, hmm. Not sure. I mean, it'll be fine, I think. And I'm, like, picking up items left and right here. I need to put a lot more demagnetization things around. Okay, so let's change this one more time here. Let's grab four more mob mashers. I'm going to do this off camera, and I'll basically just complete it, uh, get it all finalized, get all of the other stuff done. You've seen all the boring process before. So, uh, yeah, let me do that. Let me get these gas from being in this area. And, uh, yeah. Oh, see, he got pushed. Alrighty, so this is completed. Uh, there is some issues still uh, with the whole fans making them bounce left and right. Um, I probably could put a mob masher in the center. That probably would be better. Uh, the magnets, you know, not too great. Uh, but I won't be over here that much to pick up items. I'm going to just kind of chunk load this here. Uh, well, actually, I guess I can't chunk load it. I do need to get a chunk loader of some sort. I don't think we actually have any other variations of a chunk loader um, in this. We have a chunk loader barge. I'm not 100% sure how that works. Hmm. Probably keeps the uh, ships loaded and not anything else. So let me actually go back to the overworld here for a second and see if I can unload any chunks. Um... Hmm. I don't know why 25 is the minimum. Uh, it seems a lot lower than it used to, but I don't think I really have any. Because there's none in the mining dimension. Right, they're just claim chunks. Oh no, these are force loaded. Let's unload those. I don't really need to claim this stuff. Uh, back whenever I first started, this was our first power system, remember? So, that was loaded. Um, it's still probably giving some power, but not enough to matter. So, let's hop, skip, and jump back to the nether. Chunk load that, and that should be golden. Um, yeah. And some of the silverfish are getting launched in there. Might cause some entity cramming, uh, but we'll get over it. Alrighty, so we are actually getting close to ending this episode, but I really quickly wanted to look at a few more things here. So let me clean up my inventory, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we are going to quickly automate the rest of the dissolution chamber. Uh, really, we just need to get the crafters connected. Uh, and I think we can go from there. So something I did off camera is I've actually made like a maintenance hatch type of situation so we can see under everything. Um, we also have the controller getting power down here now. Kind of just been working on a few things. And over here we have our transmitters just kind of sneaking behind, which is good. Uh, so let's actually grab a transmitter here if I can make one. Uh, refined transmitter 
Do I not have the auto crafting recipe for that? So let's actually grab that real quick. Uh, so that is that. And then receiver. And then network card. And then we'll grab all of this stuff. Uh, network card, this thing. All right. And we'll throw this stuff down here. All right, so one start, one start, and one start. Here we go. And that should be quickly crafted. I'll top down here, grab the transmitter. And we're kind of just preventing cables from being ran everywhere. That's kind of what I'm doing real quick. Uh, so we'll just put the transmitter or the receiver here. Shift right click with the network card. You can see that it is linked. Come up the ladder and throw the card in here. Uh, of course, this will be using quite a bit more power, but I'm fine with that. Alrighty, so uh, I think one thing we want to automate is the machine frames, right? So uh, simple machine frame. I'm pretty sure is what it's called. So we have the simple machine frame, um, which is the pity machine frame, and this can then make the advanced machine frame which this then can make the supreme machine frame so we're starting with pity right pity is just a normal crafting recipe nothing too fancy simple is actually going to be more interesting so i said a little while ago that i could use latex in the refined storage system which i'm not going to do but this will add this no matter what because it's requiring required for the actual recipe because if you look here you can see that uh, 250 millibuckets is required. So if we actually just clear this, shift click, uh, and we keep all this other stuff in here, we should be good. Uh, and if this breaks, you know, we'll have to fix it, right? So I'm not 100% worried about that. Same thing here, pink slime's required. So we'll just void that and do all that. So, uh, and then of course we can do Supreme, which is this one. Of course, we can also just clear this out. I don't think we know how to make diamond gears. Well, let's make those and plastic sheets gold gears maybe uh let's see hold on do i know how to make any gear no okay so let's just toss these in here gear next page oop not those so everything but the pity machine frame so this will be simple this will be advanced and this will be the supreme right so this is backwards actually probably should change this but that'll be all right all right so now if i request a simple machine frame right say one simple machine frame we should see stuff get thrown in here uh, of course i don't have any upgrades in here that'll probably be the next thing we can automate uh, is actually requesting that but you can see that this is cruising right and if i actually say come in here i want three it'll only throw enough items in here to actually make one at a time so you'll see that there's no overflow of that uh the next issue which i don't know if you guys can see that nothing's being pulled out um of course because crafters cannot pull out of an inventory let's actually go into the door if i can find it here and what we'll do hmm, how do we want to do this because the actual sides are occupied so i think what we can do is do some shenanigans with an entangled block and yes i use entangled blocks quite a bit i know that but they just make things so much easier I miss the old phantom faces back in the day. Those were so, so good. And I mean, this is basically the exact same thing. So, and kind of just easier to use these here. So let's make sure these are like stacked. There we go. Uh, we'll do entangled binder and we will just take, let's see here. I think we can grab an importer or three. So let's grab some cores. We'll say grab 10 of those, grab 10 of those, and then importer. Oh, I made the wrong core. 
improve processors actually what I needed but I mean it's not too bad to make those anyway uh, so importer one more time we might be able to make it here one two three and then we'll say this this and this we'll bind this one here bind this one here and then bind this one here and we'll do boom 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 and that should be good i think we might have to set these to push at the very top but it doesn't look like it so now let's see how this is working so is our crafting thing cleared yes it is so if we actually say hey i want a machine frame one supreme please all right, so we should be crafting a Supreme Machine Frame. Actually, yeah, so it's already got one advanced in the system. So it's actually pulled that, and now we're making a Supreme Machine Frame. Um, yeah, so that's automated. Uh, let's see. We could also say, uh, I want an add-on, right? So Tier 2 add-on. Just to get rid of the latex. There we go. Um, efficiency, might as well. Get rid of the latex. There we go uh tier two right and another thing with this by the way is you can tell which items you do need to have crafted so a furnace is one of them uh which we can do here quickly so we need to grab this pattern then we can actually grab the furnace and we should be able to just toss the furnace in here and then come over to the latex one here toss all these in there and then let's make some of these so we need three per, right? There we go, and it's crafted. We are automating the dissolution chambers, and of course they will speed up. Um, I probably could grab some speed upgrades for the actual, or stack upgrades, either or, for the uh, importers down below. So if we actually hop down here, we can actually put some stack upgrades in here to pull things faster. There we go. That should just pull things just a bit quicker. We can toss in a few of these as well while we're down here. I don't think it'll hurt anything. There we go. All right. So that is the solution chamber automated. We have been working on this kind of towards the very beginning. Um, which I'm glad we are there. I think we are at the point to wrap up the episode. Um, also, the armor on the left side, this is kind of something that's upcoming. I've been trying to gather materials for it, um, but there is some other stuff that we need to actually get. Uh, this is for um, the Forbidden and Arcanus, uh, Arcanus, whatever you want to call it. So... There is some stuff to be looking forward to. I have all of the dragon scales to actually get this, uh, but we're lacking a few materials here and there to actually acquire all of this. So this armor is actually better than the netherite diamond stuff. So that is kind of why I'm looking at it. The Draco Arcanius boots, they have the higher first part, but I'm pretty sure the iron armor toughness is a bit down. Um, but this is better in all aspects, really. So. I mean, I guess it's kind of even, but I'm okay with a little bit more armor protection, as much as we can get. And I think we're actually close to getting all the dragon scales um, that we need, because if you take a dragon head, you can actually use the mystical dagger from Forbidden Arcanist and you know, all this fun stuff. There's some stuff we kind of have to get into to actually craft. I'm not 100% sure really what this mod is or what this chest plate is, like if there's a special thing behind it or anything like that. I just know it looks like good armor, so we're going to try to go for it um, and all that jazz. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I'm glad we got the ghast spawning thing up um, because I will be spawning the Ender Dragon quite a bit more here and there. So uh, I think I've spawned him four times off camera just because I've been trying to get a few more dragon scales uh, and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!